Hello, physics students. Hope everyone is doing well. Okay, so I went through the assignment the other day, the exit ticket. I was a little, so a little bit of people having troubles with the idea of interference, especially constructive and destructive interference. Okay, so normally how I would explain it in the classroom would be like this. I would get a long slinky, which I have up in the labs, but I don't have now. I'd have one person here, and I'd have one person here. Now between them would be the slinky. Okay, just a straight line. I'm going to say that slinky is the, when no one's touching it, no one's, it's just sitting there between them, I'm going to call that the equilibrium point. Now, that in a sense is going to be zero, amplitude zero, because there's no wave riding along that. Okay, so first First off there, okay, I'm fixing the focus here. Now, for part two, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, I'm going to ask one of the people to make a wave. Well, what they'll do is they'll shake it in one direction and make a wave. Now, as you would expect, this wave will travel all the way to the other person. If they're holding it tight, it will actually bounce back and come the other way in opposite fashion. Now, let's imagine I've seen two people again. Keep changing colors here. Uh, let's go with light green. How about seeing two people again? So, I'm going to say they're both going to make a wave that's on the same side of equilibrium. So this person's going to make a wave like this. And the other person is also going to make a wave like this. And now their waves are traveling towards each other. Let's say if I could measure the distance from the crest of the wave to the equilibrium point. Measure that distance. Let's say it's uh, 10 centimeters. And these two waves come towards each other. Now at the point where they meet, these two waves experience constructive interference. That means when they come together, they form a bigger wave because two crests are meeting. If I could measure this, this distance would be 10 plus 10, or 20. Now, since I said the, this was the value of this line, the slinky line, the straight line between the two people is zero, our equilibrium point. This is 20 centimeters from the equilibrium point. So now I'm going to do another run. This time what I'm going to do, I have my two people. I'm going to say, well, go in the opposite direction this time. So this person makes a wave. Looks a little bigger. It's not meant to look bigger. And this person makes a wave. They look absolutely, OK, that, that we can work with this. And this person's wave from equilibrium is negative 15 centimeters. And this person's wave from equilibrium is 5 centimeters. So, again, these two waves meet in the middle. And now the amplitude of this wave will be negative 15 and negative 5, you add them together, the sum of them is negative 20 centimeters from the equilibrium point. Again, constructive interference. Now, okay, now, let's take another example. Okay, we've done orange, we've done green. I think it's time for blue. 
Okay. So, using blue, I have my two people. And then between them, I'm going to say each person makes a wave in a different direction. This person will make a wave in this direction. And over here, this person will make a wave in this direction. Now, I'm going to give their waves the same magnitude, but in different directions. So this will be 10 centimeters. And this one will be negative 10 centimeters. Now, these white waves, as we said, are traveling towards each other. When they meet in the center, that's what it's going to look like. At this point, you're not going to see, see a wave. After this point, okay, when we move on, uh, you're going to see the waves reemerge. But for this moment in time, when the two waves meet, the amplitude equals zero. Because 10 minus 10 is zero. Whenever that happens, now it doesn't always have to equal zero. We could have another example, red. And let me label this first. This is what we call destructive interference. Well, this is destructive interference, the second example. Because at this point, the waves are no longer experiencing interference. This is destructive interference. Now, I could do it the other way. I could say, OK, let's have one person who has a wave who's this big, and the other person who has a wave that's that big. So what happens is, as these waves travel towards each other and meet in the middle, let's give this a value. We'll go with the values we were using before. This will be negative 15 centimeters. Here, positive 5 centimeters. When they meet, the resulting wave will look like that. It'll be smaller than this wave, yet bigger than this wave, because what I'm doing is negative 15 plus 5 equals negative 10 centimeters. So the amplitude of this wave, when they meet, for that second they meet, is 10 centimeters. Now again, like this is again destructive, because you're making a smaller wave. So when waves are going in the same direction, let's say, with the same, the crest in the same direction, they make a bigger wave, either in the positive direction or the negative direction. Okay? Now, if they're going in the opposite directions, they, when they meet, they're going to make a smaller wave or absolutely no wave. Okay? So whenever things are getting crushed together, you're making a smaller wave or no wave, you have destructive interference. It's usually when the waves are going in opposite directions and they meet. Okay? Wave interference. Now just remember also after this meeting happens, after these two waves have met and move on, I will have a 5 centimeter wave here. Oh, sorry, a 5 centimeter wave here. And over here, passing it, they're no longer interfering with each other. Going towards the other person, I will have my negative 15 centimeter wave, or crest. I hope this answers some of your questions. You can think about it mathematically. Uh, Basically, you're adding up the numbers of the two waves that are meeting. All right, I hope that helped you. Uh, I'm going to leave this on the stream for you to look at. Thank you. I miss you guys. I'll see you soon.